the new features that has also been added to Twinmotion 2019 is the measuring tool. The measuring tool is very helpful because right inside of Twinmotion you can choose to measure a distance. Let's give an example like a distance from this wall to this wall. All I have to do is go over to Urban, switch to the measuring tool, click on the measuring tool and click and place it wherever I want. I can choose to change the scale of the tool as well I can also get the the length which it says here now uh, constraint is turned on in the sense that if I move one point or let's say I move one stuff from here to here it's automatically constrained to that point I'm going to give a quick example about how that is done with some volumes All right, so now we have these uh, two cubes here or two boxes. Now we have the two boxes here and looking at constraint, how constraint works is if I have this selected, it means that if I by default change the distance of this, that the measure tool is automatically constrained to this. So it doesn't matter how far I take this or it doesn't matter how close it is. Once constraint is turned on, the measuring tool is automatically there. So like, like right now, we're getting the detail is 3.55. And if I increase this and select this one more time, you see it's now 5.51. And this is very helpful because in situations where you're just trying to visualize your stuff, uh, maybe uh, before you move in to do a proper design, it's worth mentioning that with this tool it's going to save you a lot of time and a lot of hassles of going back to Revit or maybe going back to your uh, default application where you're doing your stuff and getting your stuff done all over and all over again. Hi, before you click the next video on the top right corner of the screen, if you like what you've just seen, Click on the like button and hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on notifications so that you get updates next time we upload a new video.